Walpole Film Festival started in 2003 as one of the first high school film festivals in the country. The program has been recognized nationally as a model for creativity and collaboration in the classroom. Students in the program are required to follow each step in modern independent digital filmmaking. This includes screenwriting, acting, art direction, shooting on digital cameras, editing on professional software, and composing original music. The festival culminates each year with a red carpet ceremony that celebrates the achievements of each crew. To learn more about this year's Walpole Film Festival and how to become a sponsor, please visit our website, walpolefilmfestival.com. Thank you and enjoy the movie. Permission to come aboard, sir. Granted. What's up? Look, I'm sure there may have been some confusion, but William, the drums and the beakers, not part of today's lesson plan. <sighs> Brian, I don't even want to know what you're going to do with the Bunsen burner. We're just going to let No, no, no. I don't want to know. Look, you two are not going to pass this lab. So you mean we're going to fail? If you don't go back, do it right, and straighten up? Absolutely. This is absolutely ridiculous. Mix those chemicals. Oh crap, it's lunchtime and we're not even done. Don't worry about it, Just sneak by O'Malley. Alright. Alright you guys, have a good lunch everybody. Bye Mr. O'Malley. You too. Whoa, yes sir. I'm going to be having lunch in here today. I would recommend you do the same thing and finish your lap. Can you believe this guy? This is preposterous. Yo, Brosif, what up? Hey, what's up? Dude, I'm not entirely sure I'm cool with missing lunch to go hang out in O'Malley's Alley. We're not going to hang out. We're going to eat our lunch while we finish the lab, you nimwit. Dude, you know me. I'm a man of principle. Yo, I found the sickest thing back in the garbage drum. What is it? You'll see. Thank you. Purple people? Yeah, it's an experiment. Does it turn people purple? Obviously, you numbskull. Dude, that was not cool. Why would you do that? I have no idea how old this thing is. Yeah, dude. I'm feeling a little extra experiment. Not extra. It's just what we'll do. O'Malley's gonna be sitting there munching on his lunch. Bam! It's purple. And you know, a purple O'Malley. That's pretty nice. All right, here's how it's gonna go down. We're gonna whip this thing up. I'm gonna go distract him with a question. And you're gonna go sneak up and put it on his lunch. Finished his lunch. That's terrible. Dude, I know. We've been here for like two minutes. If that. Dude, I'm feeling uncomfortable now. Alright, think. What are we gonna do now? Oh, yeah, dude, he keeps Mentos in his drawer. I steal them like every day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll do that. Should I put it all in? No, he'll notice. What's that Brill Cream slogan? 
Oh yeah. A little dab will do you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's it. Mr. Malley, can I talk to you? Yeah, what do you need? Well, it's kind of important. I kind of need to go out in the hall. Oh, okay. So, well, um, I have this friend, and well, he's been having these feelings. And I'm really troubled right now. Well, what can I do for you? Well, that's the thing. There's just not much to do. And the situation is just so bad. And, well, never mind. I thought you said it was important. Oh, I'm not really friends with the kid anymore. Okay. Thank you. That was a well-made talk. You're welcome. And now we play the waiting game. Do work. Oh, oh, Molly! <laughs> what time is it? Mentos time! Hit me, O'Malley! Oh my! Oh no! Whoa, dude! Where the hell is Ambush? I haven't the slightest idea where that guy just went. It's not even like he's purple, he's just not there! Whoa, 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 back up. We don't know that he's not purple, we just know that he's not here. Wherever he is, he could be purple. Problem? He's not there. I don't know. Check the sheet. Maybe that's what happened before they turned purple. Well, it doesn't say anything about pre-purple disappearance. Let me see it. You sure we did it right? I don't know. We did it pretty fast. Well, it says right here, nitrogen should not be confused with any other substance. All right, let's see what we got. And he's nitrogen, right? Probably. I don't know. Look it up. Dude, that sounds promising. And he's neon. Neon? Like the signs? That's stupid. Why the hell is the school at neon? I don't know. I don't make the school budget. That's freaking weird. Check out the back, see what neon does. It says it causes two hour disappearances. Why would they make that for kids? Wait, wait. Idea. Slap that. Before I get excited though, you're gonna have to tell me more about this idea. Alright, we're going to be in Bush. You're gonna have to tell me more. Alright, so we're gonna act like we're sent down to the office. Then we're just gonna chill in his office and be in Bush. So we get to screw around with teachers, right? Yeah, probably. I get to put that Irish accent I do to good use. Hey, uh, Mr. Inbush just called us in. I don't think so. Mr. Inbush isn't in his office. Sure he is. He just called us. He left a while ago and he hasn't come back yet. Are you sure he never came back? I've been sitting right here. Uh, maybe you fell asleep? Miss Wagon. I just nodded off for 15 minutes. Don't tell anyone. Alright, we're just gonna head in. Man! This is the sweetest thing I've ever seen. Dude, he's got a killing pad. How does he move around with all this stuff in here? I don't know, dude, but check it out. I'm in Bush, the vice principal. I can give anyone hours. You are the boss. What are you doing? Nothing. Just sending out a few emails. You don't have to log in? Nah. Why would he log off? It's not like two kids are going to come around and mess things up. Alright. Email and send to Newbauer. Dear Mr. Newbauer, due to new teacher policy, we're going to have to ask you to clean up your look. Well, that's a good one. In other words, ditch the nose neighbor. Or, if you don't want to shave it, just find a way to cover it up. Your friendly commuting partner, Stephen Inbush. And send. Steve? Dude, dude, what do we do? Come on, man, hurry up, dude. Oh, yes, Miss Wigan, what do you need? 
I just wanted to remind you about your presentation this afternoon. Oh, right, right. That'd be the one on Casual Fridays, correct? No, sir. Is it about the firings? No, sir. It's the detention one that you've been working on with Mr. Connor for weeks. Right, right. I knew that. I'm just not exactly feeling myself today. I have your file if you'd like it. Okay, bring it in when you get a chance. God, that was a close one. Huh? Dude, that was awesome. Sick. God, dude, that was oh quick. Yeah, that was really quick. Uh, what can I do for you? I have that file that you want. Uh, oh, that's fine. Just hand it here. Oh, come on now. I don't have all day. Uh, here you go. Wow. Can't believe that you got away with that. Yeah, I know. But, I had an idea while all that was going on. You were thinking during that? What can I say? Multitasker. Alright, what was the idea? So, I was thinking, maybe we act as ambush, you know, using the intercom? No, I got a better idea. What if I go down and do the meeting, like, as me? Great idea, because, you know, students always go to teachers' meetings. What are you, dense? Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call Ms. Culleton as Mr. Imbush and then tell her that I'm going to send down a student to run the meeting. That student being you? Yes. Ah, great idea. Think it'll work? Of course. What do you think? I'm a confident man. Well, I guess it'll work. Wait, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out. What about Mr. Connor? All right. That is up to you. What? You're going to have to distract him. You're going to have to do everything you can to keep him away from this meeting. For you, Ryan, I'll do my best. Man, just relax. I have full confidence in you. You can do anything you put your mind to. So, on another note, think we could get rid of detention? I think anything's possible at this point. Yeah, dude. We're in hours five times a week. That's five hours we don't get back. Yeah, hours are getting ridiculous, man. Like, I'm starting to, like, spend a lifetime in there. You can't even sleep, you can't eat. Someone's at the door. Dude, use this. What the hell is this? Just use it. Scout's on her. Always prepared. You're such a tool. Um, hello? Uh, yes, what can I do for you? Uh, yeah, I came because I got an hour today from Miss Pierce. Okay now, I don't have all day. For using my cell phone? Uh, you shouldn't have done that. Continue. I literally had it out for like one second. I was just checking the time and like, she told me it didn't matter anyway and she gave me an hour. In that case, slide the detention slip under the door. I'll take care of it. Mr. Connor, there you are. And there you are! What's up? Well, uh, Mr. Imbush, uh, he wants to talk to you. It's something about the meeting. Well, what is it? I, I don't really know. Well, I would just go ask him. He's right here next door. Well, I, I don't think we should. I, 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 All right! Uh, um, uh, Where's Mr. Imbush? Okay. I'm still confused. It's okay, sir. I'm still pretty confused myself. Now do we get to find out what's been going on? Um, I don't really know how to say this, but Mr. Ambush plans on taking advantage of you at the presentation by letting you do all the work. What? Yeah, um, he's gonna have you do all the work and take all the credit. He always does that. I know, and he's not gonna stop. Not in the least. Where is Mr. Connor? Well, sorry to inform you that Ed couldn't make it today. He's got some personal issues to take care of. <laughs> it isn't fair! I know. You're twice the assistant principal he could ever be. You know, it's like he treats me like I'm the assistant assistant principal! I know. That's sad. You need to find something that's just Mr. Connor. Just Mr. Connor? Just Mr. Connor! Exactly! I can do it! You can! No, 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 no. I get what you're saying. 
but you're still wrong. Why don't you enlighten us then? Oh, gladly. All right, well, I'm gonna have to ask you to step out of your comfort zone in this one. I mean, well, you know, we're in this together. Now, you're gonna be playing the teacher, and I'm gonna be the student. And you're an awful teacher. You can't learn in your class, you stink. And now, you're gonna say that this is deserving ours. I assumed as much. Yes. Are you serious? Like Also deserving attention, but do you think two different deviant acts deserve the same punishment? Oh, I like where this is going. Tie in the headlock? Let Inboys try and steal this. Mm, almost positive he won't. No, he won't. He won't, because he knows who the real assistant principal is. And if he doesn't, he will know now. I mean, look at you! Look at me! You got a dang tie in your head! I got a dang tie in my head! Inbush ain't got nothing on you! Hey, hey, don't say anything bad about Mr. Inbush. Oh my god, speaking of which... Where are you going? Will you please just tell me what's going on? No! Based on what you've heard today, do you think a detention is an appropriate act of discipline? Good, because I didn't think so. Open that door! I won't. Not now. Please, just don't know. Move! Where have you been? I've been in the strangest place. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like... Is it... It's like I was in the Twilight Zone. It's like... Why is your tie on your head? Oh! I'm sure you'd love for me to tell you all about the tie on the head idea so you could go tell everybody else that you thought of it! I don't think so! It's new, bro. What's going on with your mustache? Huh? I, I don't have a mustache. What are, you, what are you talking about? I don't even know what a mustache is. Great job. Thank you. Well done, young man. Very impressive. Thank you. How'd it go? Swimmingly, my friend. Gave attention to boot. Hey, what's the deal with Inbush? He's upstairs, sorting some stuff out with Mr. Connor. You know, Steve, I'm finding it a little difficult to believe everything you tell me right now. Oh, Mentos!